hello out there welcome to this tutorial it's limit of a function in this video we'll be looking at definition of limit of a function we we'll also look at basic rules of limits also method of finding limit of a function and finally we'll be finding limits of some selected functions remember to visit www.oninabresources.com slash videos to view all the videos on this channel also remember to subscribe to our youtube channel and uh, get more of our videos as they are being uploaded but starting with definition so let us consider the function f of x then we write this which means f of x approaches l when x approaches a the meaning of this symbolically is the limit of f of x is equal to l as x approaches a that is the definition of limit of a function we say l is the limiting value of the function f of x so so far that is how we can define limit of a function otherwise the limit of f of x does not exist at the point x is equal to a or at the point x is approaching a so now we look at some basic rules of limit so let's limit f of x as x tends to a be equal to l and limit g of x as x tends to a be equal to m so the first rule is limit c f of x as x tends to a is the same thing as c limit f of x as x tends to a and is equal to c l where c is a constant any function multiplied by a constant if I'm finding the limit as x tends to a, it is as good as finding the limit of the function, then you multiply the result by the constant c. So we go to the second rule, limit f of x plus or minus g of x as x tends to a. This law means the addition or subtraction of several functions as x tends to a is as good as finding the limit of individual function add or subtract them so from here we have it as uh, the limit of f of x as x tends to a is l that's going to be l plus or minus m then the third rule limit of f of x times g of x as x tends to a the limit of product of two functions as x tends to a is as good as finding the limit of each of the functions as x tends to a and multiply them so from here we have it as l m then the last one limit of f of x over g of x as x tends to a so the limit of two functions dividing each other as x tends to a is as good as finding the limit of the function of the numerator and the function of the denominator then you divide them that's going to give us l over m so we these are the few basic rules of limit for now so let's look at method of finding limit of a function the method of finding limiting value of a function at a given point is by putting the value of the variable very close to that point so that is to say if we have limit f of x as x tends to a is equal to l then we can just say l is f of a by substituting the value of a for x we get the limiting value of the function f of x this method may not work in few cases and we shall address such cases when they arise 
so now let's look at finding limit of some selected functions so we start with a uh, problem one for problem one evaluate each of the following limits we have two problems in problem one so we start the solution from the first problem that is a limit of x squared minus 5x plus 8 as x tends to 3. So what you do here is direct substitution. This is a polynomial. So we have it as 3 squared minus 5 times 3 plus 8. 3 squared is a 9 minus 15 plus 8. 9 plus 8 gives 17 minus 15 gives a 2. And uh, we've done justice to A, so we go to B. Limit of 5x squared plus 9x minus 50 as x tends to negative 5 is going to be direct substitution again. 5 into negative 5 squared plus 9 into negative 5 minus 50. So negative 5 squared is 25 times 5. 125 this is positive 9 times negative 5 gives negative 45 minus 50 so simplifying this 125 minus 45 is 80 minus 50 the limit of this function as x tends to negative 5 is 30 so we have done justice to problem 1 we go to problem 2 for problem 2, find the limiting value of each of the following. So we have a problem A and B. So we start the solution from A. This is an example of product of two functions. So we just substitute the point x is equal to 0 directly. So that we now have it as 3 into 0 squared minus 7 into 0 plus 3. That is the first function. The second one is 7 into 0 minus 6. This is 0, 0. So we have a 3, 0, negative 6. So we have it 3 times negative 6. And that gives negative 8, which gives the limiting value of the function as x approaches zero so we go to b part of the problem we have a limit of x squared minus 9 over x plus 4 as x tends to 1 this is another problem of two functions dividing one another so we substitute directly so that we have um 1 squared minus 9 over 1 plus 4 1 squared gives 1 minus 9 gives minus 8 over 5 so negative 8 over 5 gives the limiting value of the function in 2b so we go to problem three for problem three we have to evaluate this uh, limit of these functions at the given uh, point so we are going to start from a if we substitute two directly we are going to have zero over zero this is four minus four zero two minus two zero over zero which is undefined x minus 2 is a factor and uh, we treat it as difference of two squares so this is two squared this is uh, x squared so we have it as limit as x tends to 2 of x plus 2 x minus 2 over x minus 2 such that uh, x minus 2 cancels x minus 2 here so our function is now x plus 2 so we now have the limit we then substitute directly now to give us 2 plus 2 which gives 4 so 4 is the 
limiting value of the function as x approaches 2. So we go to problem 3b. For problem 3b, um, again, if we substitute x is negative 5 into the denominator, we get 0, the same thing, 0 over 0, which is undefined. So what we do is, since uh, the denominator is a factor of the numerator, numerator is difference of two squares. This is uh, 5 squared minus x squared. So we now have it as a limit as x tends to negative 5 of 5 plus x into 5 minus x then over 5 minus x. Addition is commutative. So x plus 5 is the same thing as 5 plus x. So the 5 plus x cancels this 5 plus x. So we are left with 5 minus x. So we can do direct substitution here. This will give us 5 minus negative 5. Minus times minus gives plus. So 5 plus 5 gives 10. This is the limiting value of the function represented here as x tends to negative 5. So we go to problem 4. Find the limit of each of these functions as x tends to 3. A, we have the given function, B is given function. Then we start from A. Starting from A, if we substitute 3 into the denominator, our concern is purposely if you have a fractional function like this, and uh, we have to find the limit let's look at the denominator first will it give us zero if it gives us zero is there any way is the denominator now a factor of the numerator if it is then we factorize and use the factor method to simplify the function first before we substitute so let's go this is 9 times 27 minus 30 plus 3, 0. This is 0 over 0 again. And uh, with that, x minus 3 is a factor of the numerator here. So we quickly factorize. Now factorization, this is 3x squared. So I keep 3x in brackets. And the second bracket, the same thing. So we multiply the coefficient of x squared by the constant term, which gives positive 9. So we are looking for two factors of positive 9, whose sum will give us negative 10. So they are negative 1 and negative 9. So we place the negative 1 here in the first bracket and put the negative 9 in the second bracket. We now have this first factor as 3x minus 1. The second factor, since 3 is a factor also, if you divide it, you'll be left with x minus 3. So the numerator here now becomes 3x minus 1 into x minus 3 over x minus 3. So from here, x minus 3 cancels x minus 3 so the function becomes 3x minus 1 now we can find the limits of the function as x tends to 3 by direct substitution so we have 3 into 3 minus 1 3 times 3 gives 9 minus 1 gives uh, 8 so the limiting value of this function in A as x tends to 3 is 8. Then we go to B part of the problem. For B part, again, as x tends to 3, this is 3 minus 3, 0. And uh, x cubed minus 27, when x is 3, 
that's 27 minus 27 also 0 over 0 so what we do now is we are going to do long division can't easily get the factors here so let's do long division so we have uh, the numerator going inside and the denominator which is the divisor is coming here uh, we need to expand this they there are missing terms there the term with x squared and the term with x so the fact is that their coefficient is zero so their coefficient is zero so what we do is we introduce them to make our division very easy so we have a x cube plus zero x squared plus zero x then minus 27 so we are just filling in the gap here then divide by x minus 3. the method of dividing these is we consider the first term here and the first term here so x cubed divided by x is x squared so we have the first term of the quotient to be x squared so we use this x squared to multiply the divisor x squared times x gives x cubed x squared times negative 3 gives uh, negative 3x squared that we now subtract so x cubed minus s cubed is 0 gone mm, 0 x squared minus negative 3 x squared we give us positive 3 x squared yeah then we now bring the remaining terms down so we look again at this first term here and the first term here dividing this first term by x we have a 3x then we use this 3x to multiply the divisor 3x times x gives a 3x squared 3x times negative 3 gives negative 9x we subtract again uh, 3x squared minus 3x squared is 0 0 x minus negative 9 x gives positive 9 x then finally we bring down the negative 27 and finally we say 9 x divided by 9 gives a positive 9 so we now say 9 times x gives 9 x 9 times negative 3 gives negative 27 so we subtract again in our subtraction the remainder is zero so now the factors of the numerator are x minus 3 and x squared plus 3x plus 9 so we now have it as uh, x minus 3 into x squared plus 3x plus 9 then over x minus 3 you can see now that this x minus 3 cancels this x minus 3 so our function is now x squared plus 3x plus 9 so that finding the limit as x approaches 3 of this function by direct substitution we have a 3 squared plus 3 into 3 plus 9 3 squared is 9 9 plus 9 that's 9 times 3 27 so the limit of the second function in problem 4 as x tends to 3 is 27 so this is the highest we can take for this uh, tutorial check the description section of this video for our next video on limit of a function remember to subscribe to our youtube channel like and share this video so until i come your way again goodbye